Once upon a time, four animals met at a crossroads. They'd all come away from the places they were, and they met, and they talked. The first was a cow, and the cow said, I am tired of living in a field and eating grass all day, and I'm tired of having my milk stripped out of me. I want to go somewhere where I can be free and do what I want to do. And the second was a badger. The badger says, I am tired of living in a hole in the ground and eating earthworms and slugs and prickly old hedgehogs and only seeing the night and being underground all day. I want to go somewhere where I can live it up. And the third was a chicken. The chicken said, I'm tired of sleeping in a pen with all the other chickens and I'm tired of laying egg after egg and then they all get taken away from me and I don't even get to grow the chicks. And the fourth Fourth was a lizard. The lizard said, I don't like waking up cold and having to warm myself in the sun before I can do anything. And I don't like being on the lookout all day. I want to live somewhere where I know I can be safe. So they talked and came up with an idea. The cow said, we should move to a town or a city, maybe Bremen. Everybody's free in Bremen. Everybody's happy in Bremen. Yeah, said the badger. You can get any kind of food you like. Yes, yeah, said the chicken. No one would take my eggs off me there. Oh, yes, says the lizard. I could be warm there. So they decided to move to Bremen. But what to do? I know, says the cow. We could be musicians. We could all play instruments. We could be the town band. And then uh, uh, we could just play for people at parties and they'd feed us and there'd be fun every day. So they decided to do that. They decided to move to Bremen and be the town band. Well, they moved on the road down towards Bremen, but the night fell and it became time for looking for somewhere to sleep. Off at the side of the road, just behind a few houses, there was a cottage and there was light streaming out of the windows. It looked very inviting. So the animals crept up and they, they peeped in to see if there might be room for them to sleep in the house. Well, the windows were very high, so none of the animals could see high enough to, to peer in. So the badger climbed up on the uh, cow's back to see if he could sleep, peep into the windows, but they were still too high. So the chicken he climbed up on top of the badger's back and the badger was on top of the cow and uh, he tried to see if he could peep in but it was still still too high for him to peep in uh, so the lizard climbed up on top of the chicken's back and the chicken was on top of the badger and the badger was on top of the cow and when he reached up as high as he could the uh, lizard could just about get his his little fingers onto the edge of the windowsill there and he could just about stretch his neck and peep in and this is what he saw around a table there were robbers, and the robbers were counting money. They had coins, piles of coins, and they had um, banknotes, piles of banknotes, and they were counting it, talking about where they'd robbed it from, and talking about where they would, uh, where they would go to do the next robbery. Pretty dangerous stuff. Time to get away from that house. But just at that moment, the cow <laughs> sneezed and gave a great runch. And then and the badger was scrabbling to stay on and the, and the chicken was wobbling all over and the, the poor lizard on the top was trying to cling on. There was a great uproar as the, as the sneeze was loud and, and the badger was waffling away and the, the chicken was going, ah! and, the, and the, the lizard was scrabbling at the window. It made such a terrible noise that the robbers inside thought maybe someone was attacking their house. And they all dropped their piles of money and they ran out of the door and ran down the road, leaving it all behind. Well, the animals were in a pile on the ground, but they picked themselves up and dusted themselves off. And then said, well, here's a to-do. It looks like uh, we've got a house to stay in tonight, at least. So they went in and they made themselves comfortable and lay down to sleep. Now, in the middle of the night, the robbers came back to see if they could get their stuff. And it was all dark in the, uh, in the cottage because the animals had blown all the lights out chose the bravest of all the robbers. They sent him tiptoeing into the house. It was pitch black, couldn't see a thing. But the uh, badger was still awake. Badgers are nocturnal, you know, which means that they, uh, they were awake in the night time when other folk are asleep. 
and, and the robber saw the badger's eyes gleaming in the night. And he thought they were coals from the fire, still just smouldering, still just a little bit of light. So he, he picked up a candle and he, he tried to light it at the badger's eyes. And the badger didn't like that, so he snuffled and blinked and reached out with his hand and the uh, the uh, the robber screamed what was that and that woke up the lizard and the lizard swipped his tail around and, and it just happened to slap the robber on the side of the face and, and that sound woke up the chicken and the chicken gave out a mighty screech and flapped his wings like anything and that woke up the cow and the cow just got up and smacked the robber right across the head with his hoof as he was trying to stand up and the robber shot out of the door weeping with terror. What is it? What is it? said all the other robbers. What is it? Tell us what it is. Because there's a monster in there. There's a monster in there. It scraped me with its terrible claws. And, and then it roared a terrible roar and it slapped me with a with a whip or something. And then it hit me across the head with a with a mighty club. We can't go back in there. We'll have to go away forever. And they did. And they were never seen again. Back in the house, the animals put themselves together and said, what are to do? Maybe we don't need to go to Bremen. We've got a perfectly nice house here and we got uh, plenty of money. So they lived in that house forever and ever. And they never went to Bremen and they never became a town band. Crick, crack, my story's done.